Hi, Mark here from Pond Algae Solutions. I'm out just getting a little sun today. And uh, I wanted to talk in this video, Pond Tip, about a common problem people write to us about, and that's green water. You know, uh, sun is, uh, in limited quantities at least, good for your health and good for your pond. But too much sun can cause a lot of problems, and one of those issues is green water. Uh, to address a green water problem, obviously, algae, like uh, all plants, need good nutrients in the water to sustain themselves and to grow well. And green water is no different because it's made up of small single cell algae. So you want to address your nutrient issues as best you can. Make sure your fish aren't overstocked for your pond size. Make sure that you're using a good bacteria in the pond to keep nutrients in check and that your biofilter is working well. But the other part about green water is the sun. Sunlight stimulates algae growth uh, dramatically and green water is one of the common problems. In fact, when, when People call me and ask, you know, what do I do about green water problems? And one of the main things I'll talk about is sun exposure and figuring out how to limit that. Obviously, the best way to limit sun exposure is through shade. And just like you or I would do, uh, we want to try to block the sun uh, as best we can. You can use physical structures around your pond. Uh, but the easiest way and the most beneficial and natural way is through adding surface plants. Floating plants like lilies provide tremendous benefit to any small pond. They protect your fish, they keep the pond cooler in the hot summer, and beyond that, they provide shade. And that way, they limit or potentially limit the stimulation for algae. The other thing that they do is they work uh, together with beneficial bacteria and other nutrient uh, controlling mechanisms in your pond, like your biofilter, to outcompete algae for the available nutrients. And so plants is my number one suggestion, adding plants to a small pond and getting adequate surface coverage. Anywhere from 30% up to 70% coverage is recommended to help shade the pond. If you do that, you're moving your pond in a much better direction and you have a great chance to control green water in your pond. At the end of all that, if you tried these things and still had problems, check out ultraviolet filtration, ultraviolet light. That may be another answer for you to try. Oftentimes it works well when all else fails. So I hope that helps you if you're having problems with green water in your small pond. Be sure to visit us at Pond Algae Solutions when you can, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.